Welcome back today. We're taking a journey from creating a simple vector to visualizing the beautiful sync function. If you're into MATLAB, Python, or just love data visualization, you're in for a treat. Let's jump in. Our challenge today involves creating a row vector X that spans from 10 to 10 with exactly 101 elements. Transforming this row vector into a column vector. Applying the sync function to each value of X. Plotting these values with X on the X axis and our results on the Y axis. Why do we need 101 elements? And what's special about the sync function? Think about it and drop your answers in the comments below. Let's start by clear the command window, providing a clean slate for new output. This does not affect any variables in the workspace or open figures. Now creating our row vector X using the linspace function. It's the perfect tool for generating evenly spaced numbers in any range. Next, we transform our row vector into a column vector. This step is essential because many mathematical operations and plotting functions work better with column vectors. Let's compute the sync values for our x vector. The sync function is a fundamental function in signal processing and mathematics. Now, let's visualize our results using the plot function. Create a new figure window. Plot E against x with line width of 2. Turn on grid for better visualization. Label X axis. Label Y axis. Add title to the plot. Notice how the plot showcases the distinctive features of the sync function, the central peak, the zero crossings, and the diminishing oscillations or ringing as we move away from zero. How would you customize this plot? Would you change the line color, add markers, or adjust the axis limits? Share your thoughts in the comments or take our poll.